The Chandraya Research Center strives to empower girls through research-informed education. And how do we do that? We focus on understanding different aspects. The first is their academics. How are they learning and what is curriculum offering? The second is their wellness and well-being as students. How do we support them both mentally and physically as young women? The third is their global engagement. What are the opportunities and what do they learn from these opportunities to engage with the world? Foremost about my background is that I started out as a classroom teacher. I um, started in secondary schools and then changed into elementary schools. I guess it goes back to my mother. Education was really where the heart of um, change happened in her own life. She was a feminist coming from India at the time, uh, one of the few doctors uh, in, in her community um, that was a woman. And so when she came, she really instilled in us the power of education. I uh, engaged in research that was around gender and girls' empowerment and schooling. I moved to the University of Toronto and taught there for 12 years uh, in graduate programs and pre-service programs. I then moved into my PhD where I melded the two. I looked at marginalized communities and diversity in educational settings. When I came to Branksome Hall, the slate was blank for what the Chandaria Research Centre could do and its potential. To have a meaningful institute, I felt that it really must be built by the community. And so community consultations became my first priority in these early months. It's been a chance for me to get to know the community, but it's also a chance to hear from everyone what they feel is most important to them and what are the questions that they have about education. And for the grade sixes, for example, we sat around, we, we talked about research, what it meant, but also what the possibilities were for projects. And they were wondering about why is the furniture the way it is? What happens if we've made changes? So their questions were really um, important because I found they also connected to questions that teachers have. Right now in the field there's a gap uh, between the knowledge that's generated through research and putting it in the classroom into practice and taking action. And so the Chandaria Research Centre bridges that gap by really asking questions that are important to teachers in a timely fashion and bringing action into those classrooms. The next steps are really exciting because I'm pulling together all the ideas from the community and building a proposal that will outline our vision and mandate for the years to come. I really see the parents benefiting from the Chandaria Research Centre because it will act as a catalyst for sharing new knowledge on girls learning and helping them with understanding the development of the girl child and how to support them uh, be strong and empowered young women.